Any man say unto you, this is offered to an idol. Unto idols eat not for whose sake? His sake. That showed it for conscience sake, for the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. In other words, there's nothing wrong with the food. Food's food. Good food's good. Bad food's bad. Some of y'all can't tell the difference. Amen. I'm sorry. Amen. Mm. Nobody said nobody said anything right there. Amen. I, 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 I'm just telling you, if the guy tells you, listen, I offered this to idols. You know, we made a sacrifice, you know, to idols. Don't eat it. Why? Not for your sake. The food's food. You're doing it because you're saying, I'm a Christian. I don't eat food made up, uh, offered to idols. I don't do that. That's why there are certain things that you should do and not do because you're a Christian. Not because you're more holier than thou. Amen. But you do it, amen, so that others can say, I'm a Christian. Hallelujah. Where was I? For if by grace be partakers, why am I evil spoken of for that which I gave thanks? Whether therefore you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all for the glory of God. What does that mean? Anything you do, like leaving, say, I'm doing this for the honor of God. Amen. I'm doing this for God. We've got to get them home. Amen. They've got to get home. Amen. Amen. We are doing this for God. When you play that piano, Ashley, it shouldn't be because... You know, everybody expects me to, to play the piano. I'm doing it for the glory of God. When you sing, it's not for you. You're doing it for the glory of God. When you come to church, you don't come to church just to show up for duty. You do it for the glory of God. When you eat, you do it for the glory of God. Everything you do, you clean, you work. Amen. Amen. What you wear, you're doing it all for the glory of God. Give none offense neither to the Jews, nor the Gentiles, nor to the church of God. What does that mean? Don't be bragging in front of them. All right, you know, I'm better than you are. I'm better than you. Are. I got more standing, got more conviction. I tell you, I'm better than you. No! All you're going to do is get, get them upset with you. You don't, amen, you don't get people upset with you. Give none offense. Amen. Don't be starting biblical, theological fights. This one guy used to work for me. I'll tell you and then I'll quit. He used to work for me and he was, he wanted to know a certain verse. I said, now if I tell you this verse, I'll tell you, brother, I said, first of all, I don't think you're saved. Number two, if you use this verse where I think you're going to use this verse, they're going to get mad at you and run you off, and you're never going to be invited, and I know this is everything to you in your life, this little club that you belong to. Oh, i got to know it, i got to know it, i got to know it. So I gave him the verse. He used the verse. Guess what happened? It went, boom. And they asked him to leave. And that was his entire life. He'd been going there for 20 years. That's how he stayed sober for 20 years. Who cares? Some people would rather, do right, rather, would rather be right than do right. Who cares if they're right or not? Amen. It doesn't matter. Why are we having this theological discussion where uh, you're not going to agree whatever I say and you're, hey amen, I'm not going to change your mind, you're not going to change mine. So why are we bothering? There's some things, it's best, just leave it alone. Yeah, that, well, that's an interesting point. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. I, I'll, I'll think about that. Not long, but I'm going to think about that. Amen. You don't have to tell them that I'm long. Amen. But yeah, I'm going to think about that. Amen. Why do you want to start an argument for an hour and he, you don't win and he doesn't win? All you've done is killed an hour. Yep. Right. 
Even as I please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many, that they may be what? You got to learn how to behave yourself among everybody. The religious bunch, the lost bunch, the people at work, your neighbors, your friends. Why? Everybody's looking at you. Your life, your life and the way you live it, somebody could go to heaven because of your life. Amen. Or worse, somebody could go to hell because of the way you're living. And when you stand before heaven, they're going to say, well, man, the way you acted, there's no way I'd ever believe in God. I don't want that. That's what Paul's saying. He said, listen, we got examples how not to act. Don't be acting like them dummies. Amen? Don't act like Israel that murmured and complained and made idols. Don't do that. Amen? 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 If you're going to do something, brag on somebody. Amen? Amen? Brag on them. Amen. People love it when you brag on them. Amen. Amen? If I haven't bragged on you in a while, I appreciate you showing up. Hallelujah. Anybody put up with me, amen, amen. You never know when my diabetes is going to go off. Amen, amen. That's pretty good, amen. I admire that, amen. amen. <coughs> Others. Others. Amen. amen. Food served. Amen. You know, uh, if they don't say where it's, you know, it's been offered to idols, you go ahead and eat. If they tell you, we have blessed the food, you know, with whatever idol they're in. Haiti, they sold their soul, they sold their country to, to, uh, to the devil. So everything they offer in Haiti is to the devil. You didn't know that? Yes, they offered their whole country. So don't go to Haiti, amen? But if they tell you, I've offered this to a devil, don't eat it. Well, I'm a Christian, I can't eat that. Is there anything wrong with the food? Nothing. Food's food. But you're doing it for their sake. What we do is not for our sake. It's for others. Amen. 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 And some people are good for you. And some people are bad for you. Right. Leave the bad ones alone. And the bad ones always have an excuse why you ought to hang around with them. Father, we love you. Thank you once again. We sure do love you. Amen. And we appreciate you. Don't forget Sunday, back to back. Miss Terry's not here. So, Miss Patty, you're in charge of the food. Amen.